Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thanks a lot for checking the video out and making some time to watch it. I always appreciate that. And guys, we are getting into the winter season right now, so you know what that means. It means jerkbait fishing is here upon us. And in today's video, guys, I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on how to work a jerkbait correctly because everyone I fish with, I'm guessing 90% of the people out there do not know how to work a jerkbait correctly, especially this time of year. Not that you can't catch fish working a jerkbait different ways, but I'm gonna show you guys the exact way and setup how to work a jerkbait that's gonna, it'll triple how many fish you catch, without a doubt in my mind. So we're gonna get into that in today's video. Also guys, since it is winter, I'd like to invite you to please swing by and check out our Fish the Moment winter lake map breakdowns we got up. We got them up for all seasons, but a lot of people are getting the winter maps right now. Um, these are really good resources to learn more about your favorite lake. and find you some good jerk bait spots on there. So I'll put the uh, link to the Fish the Moment Lake Map Breakdown link in the description of this video if you wanna check it out. Okay guys, get into this uh, deal here. I think what, here's the thing about jerk bait fishing. We do a lot of information on jerk bait channel, uh, jerk bait fishing on this channel because it is one of my favorite techniques to catch a fish. And I was sort of involved in the whole process that, that jerkbait fishing, modern day jerkbait fishing sort of got started here in the 70s in the Ozarks and I was sort of on the, the leading edge of that. And then I helped develop the Mega Bass Vision 110 in the late 90s. So I've got a pretty extensive background in that. And one of the things that I notice in jerkbait fishing is people try to oversimplify it. And you can't because jerkbait fishing is the most complicated technique that there is, period. You have there's more variables in jerkbait fishing than any other lure category out there. And how to work a jerkbait is one of those variables that most people try to oversimplify because here's how most people work a jerkbait. They, they take a bait casting rod, you know, like a six and a half foot or something like that, put their jerkbait on it and they throw it out there, jerk it down, jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause. That's how you see everybody fishing. And I'm, yeah, and yeah, you can catch some fish like that, but guys, this is kindergarten level. If you're working a jerk bait like this, like jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause, with a bait caster, you are in kindergarten or first grade when it comes to jerk bait fishing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to take your jerk bait uh, manipulation to college level in this video. First thing you need to do, get rid of your bait casting outfit. Get rid of it. It's not meant for jerk bait fishing and get you a spinning outfit, specifically the Mega Bass uh, Whip Snake. The Whip Snake is a six foot, 11 inch, sort of a medium action spinning rod. It is the best rod to fish a jerk bait on. And also guys, I'll put the uh, Tackle Warehouse, my Tackle Warehouse link in the description if you guys wanna get any of the stuff I'm talking about here today. Get you a spinning rod, like the Mega Bass Whip Snake, six foot, a spinning rod under seven foot long. You can't, you don't want a spinning rod over seven foot. <coughs> Excuse me because it makes the uh, manipulation more difficult. And then get you a large spool spinning reel, a 3000 series, not a 2500 series, but a 3000 series, because this is gonna allow for longer casts with that. So this is what you wanna do with it as far as manipulation and why the spinning rod is better. It's like, if you try to fish a jerk bait, guys, on, this is the analogy I'm gonna use. If you try to fish your jerk bait on a bait cast rod, it's like using, it's like a surgeon using a butter knife versus a scalpel, which is the spinning rod. The spinning rod's a scalpel, bait casting rod is the butter knife. So here's the correct way to work a jerk bait. Several, several of the correct ways, specifically in the winter months. First of all, make your cast out there and get your cast as far as you can out there. Because the farther you cast the bait, number one, it's gonna allow the bait to get deeper. And the deepest part that you can get your jerk bait in the wintertime usually is the best area, the best zone to catch those fish in. So make that long cast. And then when you reel it down on there, you're not concerned about catching any fish for the first uh, one quarter of the retrieve. You're trying to get that bait down. So the best way to get the bait down is throw it out there and jerk just with soft sort of medium jerks and reel at the same time for about 10, about 10 jerks and jerk that rod tip down to the water. Now after about 10 jerks like that, 10 or 12 jerks on a long cast, your bait is gonna be pretty close to its maximum depth there. Now this is how you work a jerk bait once it gets to the maximum depth. Let's say, we, we, let's say we're down there to the maximum depth. 
The first thing you do is once you stop jerking like that is let it pause for a second, give it two small jerks like that, two small twitches, and then start vibrating your rod tip like that. Just if you can notice, you can just see that my hand right there, just how I'm vibrating it. And what that does is you're down at the at the maximum depth there. And let me grab a jerk bait here and I'll show you a little bit better what I'm talking about. You jerk it down there to the mac to the to the depth that it's at. And um baits came down like this. So the first couple jerks, this first couple soft jerks you make, is it's sort of gonna go like that. And then it's at, the, at its deepest point. And then when you're sitting there at this deepest point and you're just twitching it like that on a slack line, this jerk bait is just, it's just sort of barely moving like that through the water, just like that, like a, like a cold water minnow. And then after you twitch it a couple times like that, snap it hard like that, like two times, not like super hard, but just two quick snaps like that. And then let it stop again. Now, I'm not talking for very long. You're not pausing it. You're only pausing it for a couple seconds and then start vibrating it again. Just barely moving it like that on that slack line. And that slack line is keeping the bait in one spot, but it's sort of making it move a little bit, sort of like minnows do in cold water. And then pop it again like that a couple times. That is the way that you want to jerk, work, work a jerk bait specifically in cold water. And even if it's a little bit warmer, you just quicken up the pace a little bit. So let, let me sort of go over this again <clears throat> to show you what it looks like. Cast out there, jerking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop like that. A couple of quick twitches, twitch, twitch, like that. And then just shake the rod tip like that. Just shake it. A couple of quick twitches like that. Shake the rod tip like that. And you do this until the bait starts coming up like that. What you have in here is this bait comes down as you're jerking it. It's in the bottom, the deepest part of it, which is the sweet spot. And you've got the sweet spot that you have is determined by the length of your cast. If you make a short cast, your sweet spot may only be five feet. If you make a super long cast with light line, it, you may be in the sweet spot for 15 or 20 feet. But you're jerking that bait just the way I told you to work it until you feel that the bait begins to come up like that. And as the bait comes up like that, that is when you want to speed it up just a little bit. So when you feel that the bait, say you're working it down there and you think that you feel like the bait is coming up, then start twitching it a little bit faster because what happens is as that bait comes up like this, the fish have to make a decision whether to grab that bait or to let it go. And if it's moving towards the surface a little bit faster, Sometimes that'll trigger them to bite it. Sometimes it won't, sometimes it will. But anyway, guys, that is how you correctly work a jerk bait out there. If you're, if you're catching some fish, you know, with the butter knife here, just jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause, you're gonna triple or quadruple the amount of fish you get if you fish it like the way I'm talking about it. And I don't care if the water visibility is three feet or 20 foot, it's gonna work like that pretty good. So. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll put some of my favorite winter jerk bait uh, pr products in the uh, Tackle Warehouse links in my description. Biggest advice I can get you guys is get you one of these Oroshi whip snake rods. They make it. There's two different models. They come in here. It's it. It'll just make all the difference in the world as far as the feel that you get with a jerk bait. And jerk bait's all about feel. It's like if you can't if you can't feel and if you can't impart that action on in a very subtle manner out there especially in cold water, you're not gonna catch many fish on a jerk bait. And that's why so many people struggle with jerk bait fishing. And that's why so many people come to me for on the water lessons with jerk bait. They tell me the same thing. It's like, I wanna learn how to catch them on a jerk bait. I just can't catch them on a jerk bait. And guys, inevitably, the re when I start asking them and you know, I try to you know, go through what, why they're having a problem, it's because they're throwing it on a bait caster with too heavy a line, working the bait too hard. So anyway, like I said, give it a try. I know it's going to help out with you guys, and I um, hope it helps you guys catch some good jerkbait fish this winter. We'll talk later.